Hi guys, Assalamualaikum and every good evening to all of you. So today I have a free time to explain it to you about the loop quantum gravity. Okay, so this topic is very much more interesting. Okay, uh, because uh, we are look how the loop quantum gravity is placed. Okay, when we are combine the standard model of particle physics and also the general relativity. So today I like I, I will try to explain as simple as possible. Okay, so what is the loop quantum gravity? So we know that the two best theories we have today, okay, in physics. Okay, so we have a standard model of particle physics and general relativity. Okay, so we know that both of them are mutually incompatible. So now we propose the quantum gravity here actually to combine okay so to combine them in a consistent way okay so we know that general relativity or i call it gr okay gr is a theory of a space time okay we have a space with a time to go together so but it's not a quantum theory because gr is actually more looks like a classic theory okay so since the universe seems to be quantized in so many ways so one of the approach that can extend gr is to quantize a space-time okay so because if you look at the classical space-time actually space-time is a con just a contributions just a contributions like uh, you know if you have a particle particle is a uh, contributed into the all configuration of space so once we quantize every discrete space of space time actually so we have a uh, uh, value or we have uh, you know uh, discrete of space time itself so somehow in loop quantum gravity space is made up of a network of quantized loop of gravitational fields okay so which are called spin networks okay and the quantization is at the Planck scale, okay? So, look quantum gravity and string theory, perhaps the best, the best known of theories which aim to both to go deeper and encompass the standard model of particle physics and general relativity that differs in many ways. So, one of the most obvious is that look quantum gravity does not introduce extra dimensions, okay? So another big difference, okay, uh, which is the string theories aims to unify all the forces, but the quantum gravity does not, okay, because it does include matter. Starting with the Einstein field equations of GR, okay, Abbe Eschtecker kicked off the quantum gravity in 1986 and in 1988 by Carlo Rovelli and Lee Smolin built on Eschtecker works to introduce the representations of quantum general relativity okay so since then a lot of progress has been made and so far no fatal flaws have been discovered okay so however look quantum gravity suffers from a number of problems perhaps the most frustrating is that we don't know if the quantum gravity becomes G as we move from the quantized Planck scale to the continuum scale at which our experiments and observation are being done. Okay, so what about actual test of the quantum gravity? You know that? Like in a lab or with a telescope? Well, there are some potential tests maybe, such as whether the speed of light is in the constant. And recently, the Fermi telescope team reported that the result of just such a test. Result? Yeah, I think there is no clear sign of a quantum gravity. So, uh, if you're interested more on the quantum gravity, actually there's a lot of materials freely available on, on the, the website. Okay, from easy reads like quantum form and look quantum gravity. Okay, so the, the introductions from non-experts like Abbe Eschtecker gravity and the quantum uh, to reviews like Carlo Rovelli's for quantum gravity. So uh, this is my short review on the quantum gravity. So for you guys have a question about about a LQG in this review, you can uh, put it down the uh, put it down the questions and also the comments and the website below okay so that's all from me uh, thank you very much all right so see you again